Today's Mass Readings July 20, 2020 Monday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Micah Micah chapter 6 verse 1 to 4 and 6 to 8 Hear what the Lord says, Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I am brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery I released you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord, and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good, and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 50 verse 5 to 6, 8 to 9, 16 BC to 17, 21 and 23. Let our response be, to the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes, and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 12 verse 38 to 42 Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth, three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation, and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment the Queen of the South will arise with this generation, and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth, to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel 
If I was a Pharisee and I met this wandering healer prophet, perhaps I would ask for a sign too. Many Christians look for signs like miracles, voices from heaven, Mary's image on rose petals, bleeding stigmata. Jesus points us away from spectacular signs. It is our faith in the person of Jesus that keeps us going. He points these Jewish men to the faith and perceptiveness of women and Gentiles. The opponents are looking for divine signs from Jesus. Something as outlandish as the splendor of the queen or the miracle of Jonah. Jesus slides away from these demands. His divine things are the compassion and especially the forgiveness of God. He was criticized because only God could forgive sins and he claimed to do so. For saying he was equal to God he would be killed when we hear of Jonah we remember he was a reluctant prophet, and he was also the one who resisted the call of the Lord to speak to the Gentiles, to enter into the world of the other, the foreigner, the ones who are not like ourselves. Jesus was like that, the one whose heart and words, love and truth are for all. Signs from God sometimes seem desirable, and even reasonable to expect. Jesus reminds me that, if I want them, I may be looking in the wrong direction. I pray that I may see and appreciate where God is already at work in the events and relationships of my life. My prayer time can train the eye of my heart to recognize God at work in my life. As I become more familiar with and trusting in God's Spirit, I need less proof and am able to rely on what I have learned. God trusts me. I learn to trust God's Spirit in me.